So now we're going to look at how we can use um, try to test our APIs where we have request queries involved. And to do this, I'm going to use the uh, an example express app here. So what I have is I have this profiles object with these name keys and they have objects with different profile information. And then I have a get root for slash profile and it takes this name from the request query. And if there's an entry in profiles with that name as a key, it'll JSON that back. Otherwise it will return not found. So we have that root setup. So if I um, start up the server, so if I do node server.js, which is this file right here, and I press enter, and then we go into Chrome, and in localhost 3000, we put slash profile, and then we put question mark name equals Chris, like this. We can see that Chris's details have been returned. And if I change this to something like Lucy, Lucy's details are returned. And if I change it to something like Mark, we can see that it returns not found. So that's that setup now. So again, this is similar to the example I did in the basic node and express course. So it's a very simple um, API with the returns profile information. So let's think about how we can test this using Chai. So what I have here is I have the same profiles array and the name that we'll use for testing or this the name query that we'll give, I'll just say something like let a name equals and then we'll start with Chris as the example. What I want to do is you want to run the, since we have Chai HTTP installed and Chai is using it, we can say chai.request and we can give the app here and this will um, start up the app right here and we can now start sending requests to it. And we want to send a get request by calling dot get. And the route that we want to send it for is slash profile. And we want to give our name query here. So we can say question mark name equals, and we can give this um, name variable right here. Then uh, we want to call the end method dot end. And in the dot end method, we have a function that takes in an error and a response. and if this is completed successfully, we should have this response to work with. Now remember that it either returns um, a JSON object or it returns this text to not found. Um, so let's see how we can test this response. So what we want to do is we want to check if we first want to let's just have a look at this for now. So if we do console.log response and it's in the response text field, remember that the JSON will be stored. So it'll be in the dot text field right here. So if I save that and run um, node and then try dash tests.js, we can see that this is what it gets returned when we run this query with the name Chris and we have this as a string. So what the first thing that we have to do is um, convert this into a JSON object so we can do some testing. But remember that it can also return not found. So if I were to put something like mark here as our name to test and I run this, we can see it returns not found as a string. So what we can say is if um, response dot um, text is not equal to the string not found. So this means that we got an object back. Um, we can say uh, let response object equals and then we can say something like actually let's change this up we can say something like if um, profile so if there's if there isn't an entry in this profiles um, object with this name that we supplied right here this means that it should return not found so we can do something like um, try dot assert dot equals and we can check if the um, response responses text is equal to not found. And again, as a third argument, we can give an error message optionally, but we don't need to do that. So what this does is if, if there's no profile in here with this name that we supplied, which there isn't in this case, it will check if this um, returned not found, which it should. Um, and then if we do else here, so this means there is a profile um, in this profiles object with this name. So that means we should be getting a JSON back this time. The first thing we need to do is resolve the JSON, which is a string into an object. So we can say let response object equals and then JSON dot pass. And then we can give the response dot text. So we have the response object to work with now. 
So the first thing we want to check is if the name field is equal to the name from our profiles. So we can say chai.assert.equal and we can say response object dot name and we want to make sure this response object's name is equal to the um, same name from our profile. So if we do profiles and the name, so we can access this object right here and we can put the name field here. So this response object's uh, name should be equal to this name here. And then we can do a similar chai assertion for um, for the age. So if we change this to age, so the age of the response object that we get back should be equal to the age from this profiles right here. And again, we'll use that same name that we gave to access the object from the profile. Um, so these tests should throw an error if any of them fail. And if they don't fail, what we can do is just do console.log and then do all tests passed. And then what we can do here is just do a return. So if I run this now, we can see that all the tests have passed. So because right now what it did was it put mark in and it got not found, so it passed. Now if I change this to something like uh, found, for example, which is which we want the text to return, we know that this will return not found. So let's see what happens. If I run this now, we can see it throws an array, an error, because it expected the not found that it actually got back to be found. So that's how we know that it's working. Um, if I put a profile name in here, like uh, Lucy, for example, it'll go ahead and fetch the Lucy object and then it will pass it and check its fields. So if I run that now, it still says all the tests have passed because the name and the age have been returned correctly. So this is how we can use try to test um, our API where we have a query. So if we look at the challenge now, um, we're on to this one right here. and. If we look at, we're looking at the root slash hello. So if we look at server here, and we look at the slash hello root, we can see that it sets its name to the request or query dot name, which we give us the name equals. And then um, what it will do is do, do hello plus name. So if I go to this, uh, the, the, the URL for my app, and I put question mark name equals mark like this, and I run this, we can see that it returns hello mark. So this is what we need to test for. So what we have here is they've called the request on the server to start the server. Then they put hello question mark and they put x, y, z underscore z as the name. So we want to make sure that the firstly that the response status is 200, which means it was successful. So we can replace this with an equals. So this will make sure that the uh, status of the response is equal to 200, which is OK. Then we want to make sure that the response text says hello and then whatever the name was. So they have the name as XYZ here. So we want to make sure the response text is equal to hello space and then the XY underscore Z. So again, we have to replace this with equal. And if we do those now, what we can do is just copy the live app link and then paste it into here and submit it. And that should be everything we need for this test to pass. And as you can see, that's worked. So again, what this does is it sets it sends them a hello get request to the server, and it puts the name query as this x y z, and then it checks if the returned um, response has a status of two hundred, which that you can see here, which means it was okay. And also it checks if the text is equal to hello and then the name that we, they supplied right here. And this checks that our hello root is working properly and returning the correct name. So again, all you have to do is change these fails to equals and then submit it and you are good to go.